and welcome to my channel. My name is George Schlackig. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, and um, my one of my hobbies is flying my DJI Mini 2 drone. And I like to do it over the North Saskatchewan River. The reason being that, number one, if I'm controlling the drone from the river bank or from an island on the river, I can legally do this in Edmonton. Anywhere else where it's a park or anything like that, well, there are bylaws preventing me from flying it. And it's a shame because the airspace is fair game. The bylaw is against remote controlled toys or remote controlled devices. So the drone obviously is remote controlled. Now I've come here tonight. It's called the Accidental Beach. Behind me, you see a bridge that has just recently opened up for pedestrians and cyclists. And it's a beautiful bridge. There are also trains gonna run on the upper level of this bridge, but so far they're not operational. They, they've been testing them though. Anyways, one of the exciting things, right? This time of year, there's a lot of ice floating on the river and it causes all kinds of neat reflections and images. So, that's why I'm here tonight, you know, I'm flying the drone low above the water and I can even fly it under the bridge and it's kind of cool. Flying your drone under bridges over frozen rivers can be a little risky. Obviously, you might lose the signal and then you don't know what's going to happen. The drone could theoretically fall into the water or it could think it's time to return home and hit the bridge. Don't just fly under a bridge without first watching the rest of this video. I'll show you exactly what you need to know. I'm approaching the bridge against the sunlight, so it's quite hard to see it on your phone while you're flying the drone. See, I'm going a bit lower because I don't want to hit that pedestrian bridge. The drone's camera serves as my set of eyes here. As long as I can see the underside of the bridge, I know that this set of eyes, which is the drone, will not hit the bridge. Now all I have to do is make sure I'm high enough above the water. I always recommend about 5 meters and I can see the underside of the bridge. Now I'm going from the other side and the light is better. You can clearly see the underside of the bridge. So think about it. If you were at level with the bridge, would you see the underside if it was you standing there? Obviously not. And for your drone, it's much the same. It helps though if you put your gimbal in the level position. Zero. The other thing to keep in mind is make sure that there's nothing between you and the bridge you're flying under and that it is not too far away from where you're standing. The reason for that is simply that you want the signal to be as strong as possible. It'll also help to point your controller in the direction of the drone and the bridge. Now there you go, that's really all you need to know. And now let's enjoy the ice that's floating down the North Saskatchewan River. If you do not have a drone, well, the bridge is there to help you. You can actually get really neat footage of this floating ice just by going on the bridge and capturing it with your cell phone or your camera.
it was while recording this floating ice that I made the decision to ride to a different part of the river the next morning. My thinking was that I would find bigger pieces of ice floating on the water further upstream. It was also a good reason to start my day with a roughly 35 to 40 kilometer bike ride. Getting cold feet here through the rubber boots. Can you believe it? Yeah, what you see here is part of the ice on the North Saskatchewan River. And as I'm turning around, you will see the Fort Edmonton footbridge. It's beautiful, isn't it? Ah, I bet you want to see where I'm standing too. I am literally standing on ice, so I'm keeping my cool. <laughs> <laughs> That was a joke. Huh? Well, the thing is, this ice, like we're in the first week of April, kind of, and this ice isn't going to stick around. So I come down here just to get some neat footage of this because, you know, it's floating down the river. It's getting stuck here. I got footage from the other side of town that's closer to where I actually live, but this here it's got these big pieces of ice that I'm standing on. I don't know, can you see this? It's quite amazing. Spring is upon us. Right now, you don't see any green here, but that's gonna change. It'll be beautiful here. Ah, dang it. I wasn't gonna freak out those geese, but hey. But you notice that there are a lot of big pieces of ice around the island and the shore. But when I look onto the open water, I don't see the big pieces of ice floating that I expected. Why do you think that could be? Is it because I went here in the morning and the ice is still frozen somewhere? Will it appear later in the day after it had time to break loose again? All right, let's fly under the bridge. Same rule as before. We can see the underside. Yay, it passes. Beautiful. Now I know where all the ice is. Will this break loose later in the day and float down the river? Who knows? Now you see another little bridge. Wouldn't it be cool to fly right under that and then go up right after? Would you do that? I decided against it because where I'm standing is like way on the other side of that big bridge. and. I just didn't trust the signal to do that kind of thing. But here I am, flying back under the bridge that you saw the first round.
By the way, the bridge you see here is the Fort Edmonton footbridge. It is one of my favorites because it has many connections to other bike routes and trails. It is very popular with people. According to the rules, I'm supposed to stay about 30 meters away from people. I guess that's why it's such a thrill to fly underneath the bridge where there's nobody obstructing my way. Doing the same thing over and over gets old, right? Let's take this up a notch. How about flying through that bridge sideways? Well, all I have to do is make sure I'm kind of smack in the middle between the pillars and then same height, just fly sideways. I hope you enjoyed this little crash course on flying under bridges. Whatever you do, always be careful. Don't get in trouble. But if you do, I didn't tell you to fly under the bridge. So whatever you see on YouTube stays on YouTube. Enough for today. I'm riding home now. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hey, it's free, and I thank you for it. <laughs>